Go for it. Hi everyone, we're going to go live in a couple of moments um, with tonight's bedtime story. I'm just hoping it will set up and I'm also hoping that it will start to show on my computer soon because there is a long delay between me talking and you, and you seeing or me seeing. So I'm hoping I'll be able to reply. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay everyone, so my name's Louise and it's my turn to share the bedtime story with you tonight. Um, I still can't see myself on my own video and I have never done anything like this before. So I'm really hoping that I will be able to say hello to um, anybody who is. Um, my trusty helper is, is quite close to me. Um, so uh, we're going to make a start. So carrying on with the theme of knickers. Um, tonight, Charlotte has lent me a book, a very funny book, um, about the Queen's knickers. We've got lots of people watching now. Lots of lots of our Springside family are watching. Okay, and the book tonight is by Nicholas Allen. Okay, so let's have a look. The Queen likes to dress smartly. She has an enormous wardrobe for her clothes and a slightly smaller chest of drawers for all her knickers. Dillis looks after the Queen's knickers. She has a special trunk for when the Queen goes away. Ah, oh, hi Oliver, how's Sophia? But one day the trunk went missing. And Dillis is saying, Oh, the Queen's knickers, the Queen's knickers, they are lost. It caused a great crisis. And it says, Her Majesty's knicker trunk. And all the police are looking for them. And the helicopters. And it was only just sorted out before it reached the news at 10. The trunk had got mixed up with a picnic hamper. So all the people who thought they were going to have a lovely picnic just got knickers. And they look a bit cross. But all the people who thought they were going to have to wash the Queen's knickers got chicken and blackcurrant juice and some wine and some biscuits and cheese and fruit and they look very happy indeed. The Queen has knickers for all occasions. She has knickers for royal weddings and knickers for funerals and knickers for horse riding and knickers for foreign visits that have our flag on. She has flowery knickers 
for garden parties and she has some corgi knickers for when she's at home with her dogs. She has some woolly knickers for when she goes to Balmoral and it's very cold. And just for her everyday knickers, she has a crown. At the opening of Parliament, the Queen wears her VIPs, her very important pair. There's no picture of these, but here she is. Here's the safe where they're locked up with all the other state secrets. When she travels, she has special knickers with parachutes inside them. Hi, Dylan! Hello to all our penguins. <gasps> oh, just in case she has a parachute pair of knickers. She has another pair for when she's on board ships. Hi, Riley. But her most special knickers are Christmas knickers. They are a gift from Scandinavia and are traditionally decorated with real holly. And holly is a very prickly bush. So that's why she keeps her Christmas message very short. Hi, Theo. Royal knickers, though, are her most valuable. They're made of pure silk with gold thread and encrusted with diamonds and emeralds and rubies. They were first worn by Queen Victoria and they're rather baggy. I wonder what knickers the Queen would wear if she visited our school at Springside. There would be a terrific flap at the palace. Hello, George. Oh, the Queen is saying, call the royal knicker maker, Dillis. Oh, look, and they've got lots of knickers that they've tried to make. So they've got frilly ones and fancy ones. And she's saying, oh, no, far too fancy. Oh, no, far too frilly. And oh, no, far too plain and far too silly. I quite like the frilly ones. I think they would be great for our school. I shall just have to wear my everyday knickers. And then the poor queen would feel very awkward because she's very particular about her clothes. But I would tell her something to put her at ease. Don't worry about your knickers, your majesty, I'd whisper. You see, nobody can see them anyway. And then she would be sure to send a special note to me afterwards by the Royal Mail saying Her Majesty wishes to inform you that her visit was very enjoyable and most comfortable. Hi to everybody at Springside and lots of our Northern friends are watching. So I hope you're all staying safe and I miss you very much and we will all be together hopefully very soon. Okay you guys, see you soon.